hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to discuss about vehicular accidents and in this video i'll be discussing the causes forensic investigation of vehicular cases the sources of the evidence collection of the evidence and evaluation of the evidence so before starting the video guys please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel and like this video because that would mean really a lot to me so introduction accident can be defined as a sudden unintended and unfortunate external event sudden as in accident always they occur suddenly unintended that there was no intention of the person it just happened and unfortunate it leads to harm to a number of people who ever are involved in the accident so it is an unfortunate event the word accident is derived from a latin word accidere and this word accidere this latin word means to fall upon or to fall down fall to fall at or fall near or descend so the word is derived from latin word accidere which means all these things an accident is a sudden unintended and unfortunate event uh, this is a picture of one of the accident taking place some more pictures and some more picture then uh, road accident are caused due to certain reasons and it's important to know what that reason is so they can be there are four main reasons due to which road accidents can be caused first of which is it can be caused due to the driver that is it is the mistake of the driver then it is caused due to the road conditions road conditions are bad which led to accident then also it can be caused by victims victim can also be responsible for the road accident and last but not the least the vehicle itself may be faulty which has led to the road accident so first is accident caused due to the driver the reasons for this can be drunken driving that is the uh, driver the one who is driving was under the influence of alcohol or any kind of drug or any kind of medication due to which the judgment of the driver was impaired somehow due to which led to accident next can be falling asleep the person who is driving he or she fell asleep because he was tired or you know feeling asleep due to some other reason he falls asleep for a moment and loses control over the vehicle and that led to the accident so third can be distracted driving distracted driving uh, this is uh, this can be due to many reasons such as there can be visual distraction as in you have taken your eyes off the road you are you're looking you were looking somewhere else then it can be manual distraction that is taking your hands off the vehicle which led to um accident and there can be cognitive distraction also as in you weren't thinking about you know uh driving you were into some you were thinking something else you were you took your mind off the driving and you were thinking something else which led to distraction and ultimately leading leading to the accident then the accident can also be caused due to the improper road condition now the roads can be bumpy slippery or they might lack proper illumination they're not properly illuminated it is dark outside especially at the night time and due to which accident can take place here see here see in the picture that the road is quite bumpy and these bumps if if a car is coming over here in like very uh, high speed these bumps can cause serious damage to the car as well as to the person who is driving the car also there can be confusion or missing road sign there are no uh, no proper road signs and signals present on the road so or if even if they are present they could be confusing that also can lead to accident then there are floors and indicators that are present on the road for visibility due to, uh, during the night time and if they are not working properly they are not appropriate then that can also lead to accident then improper uh, inappropriate road material the material that was used to prepare to make the roads 
was not appropriate maybe due to some corruption the material used was of cheaper quality then that can also lead to road accidents other than this there can be visual obstructions also maybe due to the poor landscaping of roadways and some other factors then comes accidental uh, accident caused due to the victim now the victim the one who suffered the harm that might also be responsible for that accident now how is that possible maybe the traffic regulation was ignored the victim was not following the traffic rules and regulation properly he was ignoring it which led to accident over speeding of course then illegal lane changing that is you are going on the wrong side of the road without proper without giving proper signal or indicator that can definitely lead to an accident miscalculation of the time or distance and speed can also lead to accident also the victim can also be drunk and suddenly comes in front of the vehicle at high speed the victim was under the influence of alcohol and suddenly he comes uh, in front of a vehicle that was moving very fast and that led to accident then cause can also be vehicle if the vehicle is faulty somehow the head and rear lights of the vehicle they may be faulty or not working properly then indicators also might not be working due to which the person could not give a proper signal to the other driver then irregular services you have not got the service of your vehicle done the service proper no proper servicing of your car or inspection of your car inspection of different parts of the car is very much necessary in order to know whether your uh, vehicle is there in proper working condition or not then the air pressure in the tire may not be properly maintained also the condition of the tubes of the tire tubes these tires the, their condition is also needed to be checked properly otherwise a tire might even burst and that can lead to a serious if we talk about the sources of evidence where can we get the evidence from then there are three main sources first is the crime scene of course evidence will be present there secondly evidence can be present in the suspect's vehicle and it can also be present in the victim's vehicle so we need to search all these three places search them in order to find the evidence then the types of evidence what are the types of evidence that can be found in the vehicular accident it can be fingerprints palm prints tool marks and fabric prints other than this hair hair of the victim or the suspect fiber transferred from the clothing blood stain and skin pieces from the victim all these can be found other than this greases and lubricants may be found if found they should be collected down from the crime scene and if they are found absorbed on any surface material then that uh, material onto which they are absorbed that should be cut down other than that control sample also should be taken then glass pieces can be found on the crime scene having various shapes and sizes then paint chips skid marks all these are track marks all these are very common evidences that are found in any vehicle accident then if we talk about the collection of physical evidence so before collecting we need to take pictures and we need to make sketches because we need to know how the entire crime scene was originally so photos and sketches should be made taken in such a way that the location of accident scene can be fixed by including some of the prominent fixed land so they should be taken in a way that certain prominent features or landmarks should be uh, seen for example a milestone or a hoarding so that photograph should be covering all these things also these photographs should contain the identity of the vehicle what kind of vehicle it is and what is the number plate then note down the reading of the speedometer and the temperature of the vehicle and also of the atmosphere around the vehicle and the temperature of the water present in the radiator also the quantity of fuel that is present in the vehicle at that time should also be noted down and examine the whole area 
for any physical clues that is pre that are present that is evidence after doing this photography and sketching and measuring the temperature and all you need to collect the evidence and these are the list of evidences that you can find that i just discussed skid mark broken parts of machinery blood stain fiber hair alcohol glass all these are various evidences that can be found then they should be collected the collected evidence should be documented write down what all you have got in what all condition and with the help of notes and photographs and then they should be properly packed and in glass container or cellophane depending upon what the evidence is and then they should be sent to the proper forensic science laboratory for its examination then evaluation is to be done of course when you have got the evidence it is going to be evaluated information observed is evaluated and at the end of this process the investigating officer they should have a clear idea about the accidents accident and how it developed what was the reason for that vehicle accident to happen and they should be in a position to explain in clear and simple language after evaluating all the evidence they should be clear as in why this um, accident occurred how this accident occurred and who was the uh, person who is responsible for it so this was all about this video guys please like share and subscribe to my channel keep showing uh, your love and support to my channel i really need it right now thank you